Well, actually, I'm Pickle Toby. Anywho, people these days are obsessed with Pickle Rick and transplanting their face onto vegetables, fruits, celebrities, and all sorts of other things. Therefore, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe After Effects to stick your face onto anything you want, even a pickle. I'm Pickle Rick! First, you need to film your vegetable. So, go to your local grocery store and grab yourself a pickle, or a tomato, or an eggplant, or whatever the hell that thing is. Hey, what's the big deal? I'm just a dragon fruit. To place a face on a vegetable, you will first need to track its movement. To make tracking a whole lot easier, I highly recommend that you paint a few high contrast tracking markers onto the area where you want to insert your face. While a face may look cute and breathe a little bit of life into your produce before you devour it, I highly recommend going with something a little bit more traditional like this boring grid of points. Also, when filming a vegetable, I highly recommend that you increase the shutter speed of your camera. This will reduce the motion blur you get in your video, which can otherwise throw off the tracker. I decided to push my shutter speed up to 1 200th of a second. You may have to adjust your ISO or aperture to let in a little bit more light and brighten the image back up again. Once you're done, film the scene with your vegetable in place. Next, you need to film your face. It's up to you whether you want to transplant your entire face or whether you want to transplant your eyes, mouth, nose and probably the eyebrows individually. Personally, I felt the latter was a little bit more in line with Pickle Rick from Rick and Morty. Go and get yourself a tub of bright green face paint. Apply it to all of the areas of your face that you want to not end up on your vegetable. We will remove all of the green areas when we composite this effect. Then film your face looking straight into the camera against a plain backdrop. Try to keep your head as still as you can, otherwise your face might shift once it's transplanted onto the vegetable. Once you've filmed your vegetable and your face, it's time to jump into Adobe After Effects. I got my two clips here called Pickle Rick and The Mask for obvious reasons. By the way, while I recommend that you use your own footage, if you just want to follow along with this tutorial, you will find a download link to these files in the description of the video. Import these two files into Adobe After Effects. Let's start out by preparing the footage of our face. Drag the footage with your face onto the new composition icon to, well, create a new composition. This video here is just a clip of me talking straight to the camera with green paint all over my face. Hopefully yours ended up looking similar. Unless you are a robot though, chances are you moved your head a little. So apply a warp stabilizer effect to the clip and give it a moment to analyze and stabilize your footage. Now change the stabilization option from smooth motion over to no motion. After just a second, your face should now be locked down nicely and won't slide around once transplanted onto the vegetable. If you don't have the warp stabilizer effect, you can also stabilize your footage using the 2D tracker. I'll put a link to a tutorial for that down in the video description. Next, let's get rid of all the green stuff. Apply a key light effect to the video layer. Use the color picker to select the bright green color of the face paint. That should remove a big chunk of your face already. However, it's not perfect yet, so let's refine it a little bit more. In the settings for the key light effect, change the view over to screen matte. This will show you exactly which areas the effect is removing, which are all of the black areas, and which ones it will keep, which are the white ones. Expand the screen matte tab and then adjust the clip black and clip white properties to remove as much of the green areas of your face as you can. You may also want to increase the screen softness and maybe bring down the screen shrink growth option to get a smoother look. Once you're happy, switch the view back to final result. Now that we've removed the green from the face, let's cut away the rest of the footage. For that, create a new solid layer. Call this one, well, whatever you want really, but I'm going to call mine face matte and place it directly above your video layer. Disable its visibility and then, with the face matte layer still selected, draw a mask around the parts of your face that you want to keep. Make sure you are in the modes view in your layer window and then change the track matte option on the video layer to alpha matte. This should remove everything but your face. You may want to open up the mask properties and feather out the edges and bring in the expansion a little bit to get a nice and clean result. And with that, we've extracted our face and are ready to track the pickle. 
For this, create a new composition by dragging the footage of your vegetable onto the new composition icon. The clip I have here is a section from the intro where I have the pickle talking to the camera. We now need to track the area where we will attach the face to. For that, select your video layer and then come up into the main menu and select Animation, Track in Mocha AE. If you don't know what Mocha is, it's a powerful planar tracker and I have a few tutorials that cover all of the basics and I'll link them down below. Once Mocha launches, you may have to confirm your project settings and then scrub through your clip to make sure that everything has come across properly. Select the Create X Spline tool and draw a fairly large shape around the markers we painted onto our pickle. This defines the area that Mocha will try to follow frame by frame for the purpose of tracking. I am going to rename this layer to Face Track, then enable the Surface tool, that's this little icon here with the S in the middle. This will show a blue rectangle on your footage and this is the area where we will insert our face. Just for now, I'm going to drag the corners directly onto the four corner points I painted onto my pickle. This is not the final surface area that we want, but it will help me see whether my track is slipping off. We will adjust the surface once we're done with tracking. Down in the motion options, I recommend checking everything except for perspective. Perspective is very useful, but if you have a slightly reflective surface, like our pickle, it can throw Mocha off track. Just a little bit over to the right hand side, you will find the option for your search area. If your pickle is moving quite a lot between different frames, you may want to disable the auto options and pump up the horizontal and vertical search area, just so that Mocha is looking in a little bit of a bigger area for your pickle frame to frame. You can also enable the planar grid, which is this little pink grid icon here, to get a better view of the plane you are tracking. This is just a helper to visualize what is happening and again, it is very useful to make sure your track doesn't slip. With all of that set up, track backward and or forward through your clip. You may have to tweak a few settings or fix up a few hiccups if anything goes wrong, but hopefully you should get lucky on the first go. Nice, this is looking good. We now have a solid track on our pickle. I'm going to disable the planar grid again as I no longer need to see it. Now grab the corners of the surface, the blue rectangle, and drag them out to define the exact place where we will be inserting the face. Make sure that this plane is aligned with the surface of your pickle as best as you can. Now this won't work perfectly as our pickle is actually round and therefore doesn't have a flat surface, but for this effect it should work well enough. At the bottom right hand side in Mocha, you will find your export options. Make sure that your face track layer is selected and then click on export tracking data. In here, select After Effects Corner Pin, Supports Motion Blur, then hit Copy to Clipboard and return to After Effects. Back in your pickle composition, create a new solid. I'm going to call this one Face Track. Make sure the size matches your composition exactly. Then, very important, Make sure your timeline indicator is at the very start of the composition. Select this new face track solid and hit Ctrl V or Command V to paste the tracking data from Mocha onto this layer. If you scrub through your composition now, the solid should be tracked onto the pickle's face exactly where our surface and Mocha was. We're ready for surgery. Now, depending on how you extracted your face, it may or may not cover all of the markers that we've painted onto our pickle to help us with tracking. So let's first get rid of those markers. For that, duplicate the face track layer and call the bottom one Pickle Fix. Now, there's multiple ways to do this, some more professional than others, but I found simply using the clone stamp tool in Photoshop the easiest. Disable the tracking layers, zoom into your pickle and then simply take a screenshot of the area with the tracking markers. Jump over into Photoshop or your image editing software of choice and bring in your screenshot. Select the clone stamp tool, love that thing, and then paint out the tracking markers on the pickle. Once completed, crop your image down so it contains the fixed up part of the pickle and a little bit of space around it. Save the image on your hard drive, I'm going to call this one picklefacefix.png and then return to After Effects. Import the picklefacefix.png into your project. Make sure that in your composition you have the pickle fix layer selected and then drag the image that we created onto it while holding down the Alt key on your keyboard or if you're on a Mac it'll be the Option key. This will replace the contents of our pickle fix layer with the cleaned up image. However, it's likely a little bit too small and misaligned so let's fix that up. For that, simply apply a transform effect to the pickle fix layer. Very important, make sure that you drag this effect up so it is applied before the corner pin effect. Otherwise your image may end up all blurry and horrible. 
Now bring up the scale and adjust the position and rotation to place the fixed up pickle image right over our footage and cover up those nasty tracking markers. Temporarily disable the corner pin and the transform effect. Then use the pen tool and draw a mask only around the healed part of the pickle on the pickle fixed layer. Feather out the edges of the mask a little bit to essentially create a little cover up patch for your pickle. Then re-enable the transform and the corner pin effect. Scrubbing through your composition now, the tracking markers on your pickle should be gone. Win! Time to transplant the face. Re-enable the visibility on the face track layer. Make sure that the layer is selected and then drag the face composition from the project panel, again holding down Alt or Option on your keyboard, right onto the face track layer to replace it. And our pickle has a teeny tiny face. To place the face correctly, let's simply apply a transform effect to the layer. Again, bring this effect up before the corner pin to avoid low quality. Then increase the scale and adjust the position to your liking to place the face on your pickle. You may want to disable uniform scale and scale the width and height independently to get a more natural result. Well, as, as natural as a human face on a pickle can be. That looks pretty good. Scrubbing through the composition now, your pickle should have a face. The very last thing to do, and this is really up to personal taste, is to apply a tint or a curves effect to the face layer and color it in to match the green color of the pickle. Personally, I prefer the curves effect. In the effect settings, I simply bumped up the green channel and pushed a little bit more blue into it and brought down the red to get a fairly natural blend between human and vegetable. And with that, you are done. And you are now... A pickle rake! Exactly. And that's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to help an old pickle out, hit that like button, share the video around and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Leave all of your comments, questions or suggestions down in the section below. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I don't have any arms. Well, you're gonna have to use your imagination. Until next time, I will see you later.